Hello class, this is lesson 6-4 and it's titled How to Prove that Triangles are Similar by SSS and SAS. Now we know that we had some congruence theorems for SSS and SAS, but now these are going to be some similarity theorems. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is theorem 6-2 titled the SSS, so side, 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 similarity theorem. And what it says is that if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar, okay? Um, so it's not saying that the side lengths have to be congruent, but it's saying that the proportions for all of the sides must be the same, and then I can claim that the two triangles are similar. So in words, I can say that if AB compared to RS is equal to BC compared to ST, and if that's also equal to the length of AC compared to RT, then I can complain, not complain, <laughs> then I can claim that triangle ABC is similar to triangle RST. Okay? So it's pretty awesome. You're going to remember it. We already had the AA, the angle angle. Um, so now we have SSS. So here is an example for you. This example wants to know, is either triangle PQR or triangle STU similar to this other triangle XYZ? So I have all three triangles drawn for you, okay? And I want us to work this out. So we're going to compare um, the proportional lengths of two different triangles and see if they're similar and then try the other two triangles. And each time I'm wanting to see if they compare to this one right here, X, Y, Z. So why don't we start with these two triangles right here? The way that I would do this is to line up the shortest sides and the longest sides and then the middle side as well. So let's start with the shortest side. So the shortest side in X, Y, Z is um, looks like YZ. So let's write that down. YZ compared to ST. So that is 15 compared to 15, which is 1. Okay. Now let's try the next biggest one. So XY compared to looks like TU. So XY is 25 and TU is 20 and well that just simplifies to 5 fourths. Um, just for fun let's just see what the longest side would have been. The longest side was XZ compared to US which is 30 and the other one is 30 and that would have been 1. But because this one is 5 over 4, we know that those two triangles are not going to be similar. Okay, let's see if the other ones are similar. So we're going to compare this bigger triangle, PQR, to XYZ. So again, let's start with the smallest side. Um, in this case, it was YZ compared to the smallest side is 21, which was QR. So 15 to 21, I can divide both of those by 3 and I'm going to get 5 sevenths. Let's do the next biggest one, so that was XY compared to 35, which is PQ. <clears throat> so this is going to be 25 to 35. If I divide them both by 5, I'm going to get 5 sevenths again. Let's just see if the last one um, is the same proportion. So the last one was XZ compared to PR. XZ is 30, PR is 42. When you divide those both by 6, you get 5 sevenths as well. So right here, we just were able to find that triangle PQR is similar to triangle XYZ by the side, side, side similarity theorem. And I'm going to write the similarity theorem and not just side, 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 so that we're not thinking that it's 
side 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 congruence theorem okay so let's go ahead and look at another example um, we have a new theorem this one is side angle side and it's the, another similarity theorem not to be confused with the side angle side congruence theorem and what this one says is that if an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle in a second triangle so I have that right here the X and M are congruent and if the lengths of the sides including these angles are proportional then the triangles are similar so it's only talking about two sides and it's talking about the sides that make up that angle so this would be XZ and XY and also MP and MN if those are proportional then the two triangles are congruent so if angle X is congruent to angle M and let's do ZX to PM if that equals XY compared to MN then I can conclude that triangle XYZ is similar to triangle MNP okay so we're gonna end with one last example and this time we're asked what method would you use to show that triangle SRT is similar to triangle PNQ so let's remember the three different um, similarity postulates or theorems that we have now we have the AA so if we just find two angles we can prove that they are similar we have side 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 so if all three sides are proportional to the three sides of the other triangle then they're also similar and also SAS which is what we have right up above so let's look at this at what we already have we have one angle so probably I'm not going to do side 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 um, I don't have any other angles though but I do have some sides listed so already let's just write what we know we know that angle R is congruent to angle N because they are both right angles they're both 90 degrees and let's just check out um, what their ratios would be to see if they're proportional so let's check out SR compared to PN and find out what that is SR is 24 and PN is 18 and that simplifies to 4 thirds and let's check out this bottom one RT to NQ that's 28 compared to 21 that also simplifies to 4 thirds so um, I can tell that two sides in both of the triangles are proportional and those are the ones that were including that angle so therefore with all this information I can conclude that triangle SRT is in fact similar to triangle P N Q by the SAS similarity theorem okay so I have one last example for you to try on your own before you come to class and I want you to think um, by the information that you're given if you would use AA the similarity postulate or the SSS or SAS similarity theorems to prove that these two triangles are similar so this is triangle XZW XZW and also YZX YZX okay so come to class with this done and I'll help you out with any other questions you might have